What is going on guys, JT Judgment here and I am back today guys with another player review for you all now in this video We're going to be looking at one of the most expensive players right now in Ultimate Team That is the 92 rated Cristiano Ronaldo Whenever FIFA first comes out, this is the guy that I get most psyched and really excited about using Because I'm never disappointed when using him FIFA 12, he was the best player that I used FIFA 13, he was the best player that I have used. FIFA 14 has come around. Bit different this year, guys. I've used quite a few beastly players. Ronaldo is definitely close to the top of the list. Whether he's at the top of the list is another matter, but he is definitely uh, a contender to be uh, close to the top of the list. So... I mean, it's Ronaldo, guys. What do you expect? You're getting the best. I mean, when it comes to stats, it is absolutely crazy. 97 ball control, 97 long shots, 96 finishing, 92 curve, 92 dribbling. I mean, I can go on saying stats over and over, and they just mostly 90s. Physical attributes, 96 reaction, 95 jumping, 95 agility. I mean, the boy's got 90s everywhere. There is no disappointment, guys, to be had whatsoever when it comes to stats with Ronaldo. Ronaldo. I mean, it's Ronaldo. You're expecting the best, and he, he he really is. In game, he was absolutely fantastic for me. The only downside that I found to him, surprisingly, was the at times, not all the time, guys, but at times he did seem a little weak. Now there were. What do I mean by weak? Well, for an example, uh, a few times there were players that were uh, probably about five six, five seven, and compared to Ronaldo, that's slightly short. <laughs> um, and they would go in to take the ball off him, and Ronaldo would fall to the floor, which had me scratching my head at sometimes, and it did get slightly frustrating at times. Um, but it's Ronaldo. I mean, it was very few and far in between that that did happen, and a lot of the times he did shrug off a lot of people that I expected to him to lose the ball to, so that was a very nice surprise there. Pretty much everything else about him, guys, is a plus. I mean, his shooting is absolutely fantastic. Long-range shooting, no problems. In-the-box finishing, no problems. Just finishing in general with him was amazing. I had no problems there. His dribbling and ball control made him a pleasure to use. The ball stuck to his feet so well, and I was able to just go in and out with ease, literally just moving the left stick. Uh, pace with him, 93 pace, he felt like 93 pace, he is one of the fastest players that I've used in Ultimate Team, so for you players out there that like players to be fast and you've got the coins, then you're going to love him, uh, his heading is also fantastic, I scored quite a few headers with him, um, not all of the headers are going to be in this video guys, because I did score other goals with him as well. Uh, so that 86 heading stat doesn't lie. Um, he's got 5-star skills and 4-star weak foot. So, you know, he can shoot with either foot, guys. That 4-star weak, that weak foot, guys, does not lie. He's not as good as his, his, his right foot by any stretch of the imagination. But 4-star weak foot is definitely good to have. And he can definitely finish with his weak foot. And obviously 5-star skills. People who know what they're doing with their skills are obviously going to love using him. Passing with him was okay as well. He did manage to pick up a few assists for me, uh, which kind of come in handy. But let's face it, guys. Who's going to use Ronaldo for passing? <laughs> You're going to use him to be a game-changing, goal-scoring beast. And that is what he does for you. He does, the, he does the job spot on perfectly. Is he worth it? Even though he's worth a massive 2 million coins is what I bought him for. I think his price has dropped uh, about to 1.8 million now because of the Team of the Year players coming out very soon, causing everybody's price to drop. i got to say he's definitely worth the pickup. I've given him a final score of 9.9 .9 out of 10. L really, the only reason why I haven't given him a 10 out of 10 is because he seemed weak at times. And that kind of set it back a little bit for me. Um, but don't let that put you off. I mean, he is not what I would call extremely weak. It was just at times it surprised me um, that certain players that I thought would be able... Uh, Ronaldo would be able to hold off. Uh, they somehow managed to take the ball from him. But, you know, he managed to shrug off a lot of people that I expected him to lose the ball to, which was a nice surprise, like I said. Um, but in general, Ronaldo was a pleasure to use, and I will have no problems buying him back in the future because I know he plays very well, and I love using him, guys. So the bottom line, is he worth it? i got to say yes. 
guys so this was my review of the non-informed cristiano ronaldo i really do hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did i'd really appreciate you hit that like button down below it really does help me out also hit that subscribe button today if you haven't already and as always take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys